Hey guys, it's Jackie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today marks the first day of finals. I have a presentation in eight minutes. It is currently 11.22 and the presentation is at 11.30 and I'm pretty sure that my group is going first, so that's fun. It's on investment options for recent graduates. Doesn't that sound very interesting? Very interesting. <laughs> no, I actually really like this class because the professor is really cool. Ben Shack, if you're watching this, how you doing? But yeah, so I decided to film a vlog over the next like week and a half for finals and move out because I'm here for another week and a half. And then next Wednesday, a week from today, my dad comes and moves me out of my apartment in Nashville and I go home for the summer. So I have this presentation today. I have another presentation tomorrow for my leadership class a paper due on Sunday a critical self-assessment paper due for my film production class next Tuesday I also have to revise the documentary that I made for that production class by Tuesday and then I have a project due for my advanced organizational theory class next Wednesday which is a group project I don't really know what's going on with that that's probably like my biggest confusing thing for finals god I kind of have a lot more than I thought actually <laughs> this presentation starts now in four minutes I am going to um, maybe try to run through this for or just get to class early I don't know I'm excited to take you through the pain and suffering with me no it shouldn't be that bad. Well, I will let you know how the presentation goes and I'll talk to you later. I just finished my presentation. First final in the books. Later today, I just have to work on this presentation for my leadership class. And yeah, so that's it. So I'm gonna get working on that. So I will talk to you guys probably tomorrow when I'm prepping for this presentation. Bye. Hello and happy Thursday. <sighs> Today I have a final presentation and it's 2.45 right now. Presentation's in person and I have to leave at three. And I've been meaning to practice my slides for the past hour, but I just can't, I just can't get myself to do it. Do you ever, do you ever feel that way? Like I'm just sitting here and I will do anything but practice that presentation right now. Anything. So. Now that I literally only have 15 minutes until I have to leave, I think I probably will practice it and it won't be enough time to actually practice it, but the intense time constraint will force me to do this even for a brief period. And then maybe we just won't go first. Like my group won't be the first group to present and I can just stare at the slides until we go. <laughs> I don't know. Am I the only one who just feels like with presentations, you just kind of YOLO it, you know? You just kind of, you get up there, you just kind of talk. Here are my slides. <laughs> oh God. But it will all be okay. And I'll let you guys know how it goes. Afterwards. It's pouring rain outside, so I was walking home in the pouring rain. Presentation went well. We were the first group to present, as I specifically hoped would not happen. And because our group went first, so I didn't have to worry about it throughout the class, I did end up shopping on Princess Holly online the entire class period, which was two and a half hours. So, <laughs> I am looking forward now to taking a hot shower because I'm freezing from the rain and eating leftover pasta that I made. And then tomorrow, Friday, mostly I just have a bunch of video editing to do. And then Saturday, I'm gonna start picking up on my assignments that are due on Tuesday. So I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow, maybe Saturday morning to continue finals week. And right now, Christine is already hacking up. Christine's my roommate. Her parents are coming to move her out on Saturday morning. So she's been packing a lot and then my dad is coming to help me move out next Wednesday So a little less than a week from now, but uh, that's the full update. So I will talk to you guys soon It is Friday and I woke up this morning and my main goal was to finish editing a video Which was my phone got stolen video that I uploaded that was interesting if you want to check that out Then I realized that for one of my classes this reflection paper that's due on Sunday is actually a six page page paper and I really was not going to have enough time to do this so now I've been grinding at that all afternoon. Christine has been packing all day so here's her mattress on the floor and her stuff over there. Her parents are getting here early tomorrow to move her stuff out. That is the update so I have a lot more work on this reflection paper than I thought because it is six pages so wish me luck on that and I will keep you all updated. It is now Sunday and the Sunday scaries are very much a real thing. They are very present. <laughs>
It is currently 12.11. I just got back from brunch because... God knows that's what I needed to do this morning when I have a six page paper due at two o'clock. Look how good the food was. I got this breakfast burrito, cheese board, and a coffee. So yeah, so it's 12 o'clock. I have a six page paper due at two o'clock, but I have a full draft of it. So here's my full draft. I just have like a lot of edits to make for it. So I'll get it done, I'll be fine. It's also like a reflection paper technically, so I really could say anything in it and it would be fine. But yeah, and then I have a group meeting at three o'clock to work on a project that's due on Wednesday. By the way, these pictures that I was showing you guys are from my food Instagram that I created about a week ago. Ooh. If you watch a lot of my videos, you know how much I love food. <laughs> I'm a big food person. So I created a food Instagram and I put it on private and literally just had like my closest friends on it. But I feel like you guys are like my closest friends. So if you want to follow it, you can go follow it. The username is Jackie's Yummy Tummy because it's all the things that go into my tummy that are yummy. I should really go and get working on this paper right now. I also have not even thought about packing yet. Like I will worry about that when the time comes, but I have a lot of packing to do. So yeah. Well, it was great catching up with you guys. I am going to work on this paper now. I don't have much time to spare and I will talk to you soon. Hey guys, it is now Monday, so happy Monday. Today I woke up with a sore throat. I'm feeling a lot better now. I think I'm just slightly sleep deprived. And then I did a bunch of homework and tried to be efficient and wasn't that efficient. Now the only thing that I really have to do is this group project for my advanced organizational theory class. And I just can't get myself to do it right now. Like it's so brutally painful to get this done. Do you ever feel that about these assignments? Like I just don't understand why this is relevant to my life right now, but I do have to do it. I just gotta crank it out. I'm considering making cookie dough because when I'm stressed, my coping mechanism is always to make cookie dough. I, I'm realizing that I literally use that as a coping mechanism for my stress. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to the gym now because I think I need to like get my body moving and like wake myself up a little bit and take a shower and then I'll have something to eat. I've had like four meals today because I just feel low on energy. And for some reason, I think that the cookie dough will cure that. <laughs> the apartment is feeling very empty because my other roommate left today So now it's just me and one of my roommates. Oh, by the way I wanted to show you guys this this video is not sponsored by anyone But this company I think it's pronounced fume sent me this and you just carry it around and it has like relaxing essential oils in it For people who know me in real life who are watching this you probably think this is funny because I would be the last person to like vapor jewel So now I'm inhaling essential oils instead <laughs> I think it's kind of fun. I'll link it in the description, but that is the update. So I will talk to you guys later when I'm feeling a little bit more energized with my tummy full of cookie dough. Okay, so I am literally sitting here in the dark because I've just been working on this paper for the past like two hours and all of a sudden it's dark outside. Don't know how that happened, but the paper is going well. I needed to have three pages double spaced of stuff and I'm gonna have more than that, I think, which is really exciting. Really exciting. It's really, really exciting. <laughs> That's some nerd talk. <laughs> but I made myself leftover pasta earlier and I'm going to make, I think, s'mores cookie dough. Like I'm gonna put some marshmallows I have in it. Tomorrow I am going to finish this paper, meet with my group about it, and then we have to turn it into a PowerPoint. But yeah, it's not too bad so far. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Mwah. I just did some homework on campus because it's a beautiful day outside though. I think it might start raining soon. I'm not sure. So I'm heading back to my apartment now and I'm pretty much done with my portion of the paper. So I'm going to go home and start packing right now for move out and then I'll talk to you guys later. I am now home and made myself lunch and then had pretty much all of the cookie dough that I made for myself yesterday. So that was fun. And I'm now in my room starting to pack and I basically took everything out from under my bed with like my suitcases and stuff. Um, and we're missing a bunch of boxes so I have to figure out that situation. But I wanted to show you guys something funny. This is a pile of socks that I found under my bed. Literally like 10 pairs of socks that fell from the corner of my bed over there. And I was just wondering to myself, where did all my socks go? And there they are, I'm the sock dropper. This is actually good news for me because now I don't have to buy new socks. I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know why I took all this stuff out. Like where am I gonna put it right now if I don't have boxes? That's the update really. Hello, it is now 
it's Wednesday, not Thursday, Wednesday, and it is four o'clock, and I'm about to record my group presentation with my group that we've been working on. Last night, we all finished our portions of the paper, and then we all moved it over to a PowerPoint to do this. Here is our presentation. These are my speaker notes for one of my slides. Oh my God. So far today, all I did was work on my slides, and I went to Hattie B's with Alexia, my roommate's mom and her, because her mom just got here today. Hattie B's is this really famous hot chicken place in Nashville, and it's really delicious. Also, fun fact, last night I stayed up until like 2 or 2.30 in the morning packing. If you guys ever get like a late night like surge and wanting to pack, I, it was literally like 12.30 or 1 and I was like all I want to do right now is pack. Like I'm not going to bed, I'm going to pack. And so I just put all of my clothes into this. This is like the clothes that I'm storing. Why do we only have this one massive box? I don't know. It's a good question. Um, but it's what we got so we're going to work with it. <laughs> okay, my group just sent our Zoom link and we are going to go record ourselves presenting this for the class. I will let you guys know how it goes and I'll see you later probably when my dad gets here because he's coming to Nashville today to help me move out. Very exciting but that is the update so wish me luck on this presentation. Presentation done. Finals done. That was my last final. So we are done with finals, people. I have to do one more reread of my section of the paper, but basically it's done. And then I have to do my peer evaluations. But I have to go return my one textbook that I have, which is this film production textbook. I have to go return it at the bookstore at the Barnes & Noble. So I'm going to go do that now. I will probably just see you guys tomorrow for when I'm doing most of my major packing for move out. So finals are done. Woo! Such a good feeling. And I will see you guys for all the packing tomorrow. Bye! Hello, it is Thursday. What's with me forgetting every day of the week this week? <laughs> I'm a bit overwhelmed. We have been packing kind of all morning. Honestly, I haven't really done much this morning. I've kind of just been really lazy, but now I'm realizing how much I have to do. So the living room is totally cleared out. We have now started packing the kitchen stuff. I have plans to go get lunch and beers with my guy friends because my dad wanted to take them out to get beers. And that's in like an hour and a half. Hello people. This is my dad. He's going to go get FedEx boxes right now because we need more boxes. Oh, I just have so much to do. I think I'm gonna do my bathroom now because I feel like that's something that's productive. I also ate so many donuts this morning. We got donuts last night at this donut place called Donut Distillery and I literally ate like five mini donuts this morning and I think I might be having a sugar crash. Anyways, I also have to get changed because this is what I'm wearing right now. This is motivating me to get going. So I'm gonna go pack my bathroom right now. Hey guys, so it's now 1.30, which is about an hour and a half later. I have fully cleaned out the bathroom. Empty, empty. And then this is like the stuff that I need for the next couple days. And then we're going to get our beers. That'll be fun. When we get back, we have a lot of kitchen stuff to do. So I will see you guys later. We are now at the beer garden. Here are the boys. Cheers. We got this sausage sampler, among other things. It's a good time. Hello, we are back home at the apartment and have gotten a ton of kitchen packing done. Just to show you guys, everything is cleaned out. We have this curing all wrapped up. This thing has been with us through thick and thin, we realized. We've had this since freshman year. I brought it with me my freshman year and it has just lived through everything. Love our curing. Hi! She's going to dinner now too, but that is the full update, so. <laughs> Tomorrow my dad and I have the whole day now to just do my room, which I have a lot of stuff I will talk to you guys tomorrow for packing my room and moving things to storage Woo! Bye Hello, hello We have this gigantic box Like I don't even know if you guys can see how big it is Like if I sit here, it's like practically my height <laughs> It's a big box. Um, we have these two smaller FedEx boxes. It is my job now to split up the things in the big box into the smaller FedEx boxes so that it is more easily transportable to storage. And then we are going to bring everything to storage except for the mattresses, which we'll bring tomorrow. But let's move all the clothes in here into the smaller boxes. This room's a mess. Oh my God. <laughs> Why do I own this? What? <laughs> now I kind of want to pack this with me. No, I don't need to do that. Oh, but I really like it a lot. We are outside the FedEx right now shipping one of my boxes to go home to Florida and I just wanted to show you guys how packed this is. It literally took us a half an hour to pack this into here because it was like playing Tetris. <laughs> that is not closing. 
I'm gonna need my dad's help when he gets out here. I will see you guys at storage. We've made it to storage, and I am now dragging this to our storage unit. Anyone else find these places really creepy? Like, I feel like a murder could happen here and like no one would know about it. Here we are. Oh my god. I thought that was a scream at first. After I was just talking to you guys about how somebody could get murdered here, I literally thought that was a scream for help. That was terrifying. All right. Not bad. Not bad. The mattresses go here. Mattresses go there. Okay, here it is. Everything is all in there except for the mattresses, which we are going to do tomorrow. I'm hangry. <laughs> And off we go, back to the apartment. So that's really it for today. My dad and I are going to a nice dinner at this seafood place in Nashville called The Optimist tonight, which I'm really excited for. So that will be a nice break slash reward for a long day of moving. I have developed a strong hatred for moving, a passionate hatred for moving since we've had to move so many times. And really after I had to move myself out of school last spring when we got sent home for COVID, that really sparked my, my passionate hatred for moving things. Okay, well, I will see you guys tomorrow when we move the mattresses and we are finally almost done with move out so yay. good morning guys it is Saturday the final day I am exhausted this morning for the past hour we've been cramming everything into these garbage bags this has like a bunch of my clothes it has like laundry towels all of our bedding that kind of stuff and then we have to take a second one of these carts with my mattress and one of my roommates Loraza's mattress because we're taking hers to storage for her too we have a person who's coming to clean the apartment who just got here so she's gonna be doing that while we're gone that is what's going on I'm gonna go move these over to the truck and then we got to do the mattresses we're almost there here is the truck with the mattresses. We somehow managed to get both mattresses and all of those plastic bags in the truck. I'm just in awe. I can't believe it, but this is great news because now what this means is that we're gonna be able to go straight to storage instead of having to make another trip back. Let's go. Here is the storage unit. Everything's all packed up. Nice, nice. We are going to go back now to the apartment. I will talk to you guys then to sign off. Finally move out, it's done. And now I'm going to sit on this thing as my dad rolls me down. <laughs> Wee. Wow, I highly recommend this form of transportation. I am so peaceful now that move out is done as I ride on this cart to the car. Goodbye. I'm getting kind of sentimental about leaving this apartment. Lots of good memories here. This is the welcome home sign that I put up for LaRoz and Christine when they were first getting here, my roommates. Gotta take it off. Wow, feels like just yesterday I was filming my outro to my moving vlog in the same spot when my mom had just left. Time flies when you're having fun. It was a great semester. I'm actually just going to sit on the floor for a moment. Here I am on the floor. I feel like I always film my outros on the floor. It's kind of my thing, you know? But yeah, I'm getting kind of sad about being a senior next year. Like this is really weird. But that is the end of this vlog. Quite a lot has happened over finals and move out. This is going to be a beast to edit. Oh well, I signed up for that I guess when I decided to do a combined finals and move out vlog I'm going to be in Florida for a while with my mom and my sister And then I'm gonna be going to LA for an entire month to do an internship out there So I have lots of fun content coming make sure you guys subscribe for that if you aren't already Also, I partnered with this new app called flues They're not sponsoring this video or anything But I use their app now where I can post like my latest videos and there's like a ask me anything Thing function so the link is in my Instagram bio and I'll also put it in the description below but if you click that link my flus link there's actually an option to ask me anything so if you guys have any questions about Vanderbilt or YouTube or anything like that you can always DM me on Instagram but if you want a more personalized response on flus I film a video response and send it to you which I think is a really cool way to connect with you guys so I'm really excited about it speaking of Instagram also make sure to connect with me there I love connecting with you guys on places other than YouTube thank you guys for watching and for all of your amazing support. I love you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next video.